Jesus Christ! <laughs> Brisbane's just lost three tyres. Four tyres. <laughs> rest, rest in pieces, Crispin's tyres. <laughs> Down Crispin. Okay, traditional K fry. We've got Crispin, Damien, me, and we got the family Zinger box. What have you got, Crispin? Ten nuggets meal. I love the nuggets. These are the best nuggets in town. Fair enough. All right. Well, this is just before we set out to go uh, get some fuel and then be on our way. All right. Stay tuned. <laughs> You look like you're enjoying that. <laughs> Here we are again at the Caltex. Um, player one, save your game, you've reached the checkpoint. Here we go again. And uh, this is episode number two. So we're gonna get going. We've got about an hour and 45 minutes driving up to Wedge where we finished our last trip. And we're gonna be taking on from there uh, to Durian hopefully. But maybe, maybe not, we'll see. See how we go. Cool, peace. Meet Dexter. He's my dog. He's uh, joining us for this trip. He loves his stuff. So Damien is about to go without lowering his tire pressure. We'll see how far he gets. No? Yep. <laughs> he got nowhere. Plan. Okay. Well, there's my plan, and then there's our plan. But the plan is we're starting off here in Wedge. So where we took off from the pre previous episode, we had uh, Seabird to Wedge, and we'd hoped to get to Cervantes. So this time we've come back. We've only got two days, two and a half days, and we're hoping to get from here at Wedge over to Cervantes. The plan is to fish, right? Well, you would need fishing rods to fish, wouldn't you, Sean? <laughs> that would be right, Damien. What happened to the fishing rods? Let me get a picture of your fishing rod holder. It's got nothing on it. <laughs> I have forgotten the fishing rods. 
Okay, but it's, a, it's not a total loss. It's not a total loss, guys. I have a spare fishing rod in the back of my car at all times. You never know when you want to cast the lure. Crispin, even Crispin, has a fishing rod with him. It's just Damien. Anyways, we're off to bed. Uh, it's getting close to 1 a.m. now. As we, uh, we've, been work we've all been working today. Crispin's already asleep. Um, about time to call it a night and we'll see you tomorrow morning. Tomorrow! Peace! Oh, good morning. And the first one up, <coughs> Crispin and Sean are dead to the world still. Dex. And he, um, Midges are out, biting. But I thought I'd get the drone up. Get some footage. but I think it's breakfast time. Gallagher, it's breakfast time. Where is the bacon? Bacon. breakfast we've packed up we've taken it easy this morning after having a little bit of a late night and we're gonna head along towards Cervantes today just left Wedge, uh, we're just going to head up now, not too sure far, how far we're going to go, Crispy's taking the lead, at this point you could drive up the beach in your Camry, it's so, so hard. Um, well, it's basically the men down here, brilliant. As, as they, <laughs> so we're going to go and try and find the best spot to get up off the beach, um, probably jump into some sand dunes and everything like that, the weather's turned a bit bit crap at the moment but 
hopefully it, uh, we'll have, the sun will come out for us a bit later. So we've just come up off the beach. It was a little bit easy going along that compacted sand. We've come inland right now and what we're looking for here is some more technical driving. See what we can come up with. Guys, there's nothing worse than driving along in sand dunes or along the beach or anything like that and you come across rubbish. Just pick up. And we're back to scratching up the sides of our cars. We're certainly not strangers when it comes to pinstripe scratching our vehicles. We take some of the tightest tracks there are and it's a little bit unforgiving at times. Hey. We've reached the point now where we are not sure which way we're going to go. It's too hilly here to really see. There's a left and there's a right. So we sent Damien to go and have a quick look, him and Dexter. Their way up the dune to have a look. And up there. The decision has been made. Damien reckons we will go to the right. Although it's probably Dexter who made the call. Okay, we've come to a bit of a, an impasse. We have got uh, a rock pool on one side, right. and we can't really see what's in there. There's a lot of drop offs into the water. Uh, but we have this rock, this little cliff here that we're going to go up and over, so I'm going to go first and we'll see how we go. So as you can see, I've popped my front left tire. I've got a spare on the back, so we're gonna quickly change this over and then we'll be back on our way. So Sean, how does it feel your tie feel, down? I feel vulnerable. <laughs> I only brought one spear. Uh, I need to get another one. <laughs> but then I know, now I know how you feel because you go around with just four. That's it. This is Sean's brave face as well. He's feeling it in his heart. That's it. <laughs> well, we're going right, to go find some continue. lunch. Yep. Yeah, go find a place for lunch and, uh, and get out of here. Oh, let me remind you of the voice of reason when we landed. Hey, why don't we just go back? No, we can make it, they both said. <laughs> so, we're just had lunch and we're now back on the road and we're going to try and get down to the beach and get to Cervantes. Oh, I'm just now. Yeah, I'm coming.
will be fine. I'm just, yeah. Uh, you're just gonna have to get your car a bit wet. Trying to make up some lost time after slow. popping a tire earlier, we lost about an hour. So now we're trying to gain that back, even if it means going through this area where there's poor visibility. Easy peasy. This is exactly the sort of place we'd be looking at for a camping spot if it was a little bit later on. It's turning out to be a very windy day, and this would give us some great cover. But we're going to have to push on. So we've hit a dead end, we've had to turn around, basically back the way we came. It's about half an hour later now since we passed through the water the first time and the tides come up a little bit more again. So we're going to try and get back through this just now and then push on to Cervantes. We couldn't believe what happened next. Jesus Christ! 
Brisbane's just lost three tyres. Four tyres. <laughs> rest, rest in peace, Brisbane's tyres. Now, I don't mean to be filming Crispin in his uh, and a bad time, but we had to go back through, and Crispin, I got sand in my eye, and Crispin's lost four tyres have blown out. All four. I can't even laugh, guys. I can't. Thanks for watching episode 2 guys, if you like what you've seen then like and subscribe, share the video with a friend or give us some comments and feedback, we'd love to hear from you. Stay tuned for episode 3 where we attempt to salvage the trip by rescuing Crispin's Defender. This is Overlanding Out West and we'll see you in the next one.